See why I'm laughing See why I'm smiling See why I'm making new friends everywhere I go See why I'm see why Hello CYO family, my name is Chris Huff, I'm the program coordinator out here at Colorado Youth Outdoors and we wanted to start a little bit of a web series for you guys to keep you active with CYO as we go through this little bit of a crisis. So over the next couple weeks be on the lookout for a bunch of short instructional videos that CYO will be putting out teaching you some more of the skills that we have out here to offer. Hi CYO family. So like we said, we're doing some sort tutorials for you guys. So the first one we're gonna do today is we're gonna be tying a zebra midge. But not only are we gonna be tying a zebra midge, I think now's the perfect time to focus on appreciation. While we're stuck in our homes due to coronavirus, and we can't really get around, we understand you're in close quarters with your family members and your parents and everything else. But just the littlest bit of gratitude and saying thank you to each other can really go a far way. So now let's go ahead and dive right into our zebra midge. All right, CYO family, today we're gonna to be tying the zebra midge, the fly that you see right here. So the first step that we're gonna to do today is we're gonna take our size 16 curved hook, real small, tiny little hook, and we're gonna add a silver bead eye. Now I used my hackle pliers here to put my bead eye onto it just to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna stab the small end, pushing it through all the way up to the head. Now I appreciate that this may be the hardest step in the whole fly for some of you guys with those eyeballs, even as I drop it. So if you need to ask a partner for help, feel free. All right, so we got our bead head on there inside of our vise on our hook. Our next step as always is we're gonna attach the thread into the middle of the hook. So with the bobbin hand on top, we're gonna start that thread. Pull it to one side, overlap, and once your thread's ready to hang and not coming undone, go ahead and just give it a snip right off up top so we don't cut our line. All right, there's the first step in our zebra midge. The next step is we're actually gonna take that thread and we're gonna coat the whole hook all the way up towards the front and all the way towards the back using those thread control that we practiced and worked on. And once we've got the whole hook coated, I'm actually gonna use a piece of silver wire here. I'm gonna take a long, probably about inch, inch and a half long piece of silver wire. I'm gonna add it onto my hook right under that bead head so that it's nice and hidden. I'm gonna tie that on there, wrapping over the silver wire all the way back into the bend of the hook, trying to go as far back as I can get. Once my wire is really on there, the body of our zebra midge is actually going to be our thread. All right, we've got ourselves a nice big body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up at the head up here. I'm just gonna let it hang. My next step is I'm gonna take that wire that's hanging out the back of the bend of our hook. We're gonna use that wire to counter wrap. So we're gonna start by coming towards ourselves first, going around our zebra midge, a nice even length. So we're trying to section off that body so it's nice and perfectly symmetrical as I'm going around that wire's wrapping on there. And a lot of tiny little wraps add that flash so we can catch some of those bigger fish out here. And who knows, the fish may even appreciate it. So once I'm up in my head, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna tie that wire in to my hook. A little in front, a little behind. Once that wire's tied on there nice and tight, I've done a couple wraps in front, a couple wraps behind, so I know it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna take that pair of scissors and snip off my little trail in there. And as always, the last step with any fly that we do here is we're gonna take our whip finish and we're gonna whip finish in front of that wire just behind that bead head. Once, twice, three times, slide it off the hook. Again, whip finish, around, there's my triangle, once, twice, three times, slide it off, and hook. 
All right, once we're done with our last step, we'll go ahead and give that a little snip right up close. And that, CYO family, is how we are going to tie Zebra Ridge today. If you ask me, that looks awesome. That's definitely a success that I can go home and celebrate, or more importantly, I can celebrate out here on the CYO ponds when we reopen. Thanks for learning with us today, CYO family, and we hope to see you soon out here at CYO. See why I'm smiling, see why I'm making new